Hi, I'm Amy Shannon, and this is Behind the Cover. Behind the Cover is a series of videos where I kind of go into uh, some a little bit of more detail um, about the story. So hopefully it'll entice someone to, to read it. Um, even if it works just for one person wanting to read it, that would um, be helpful. And um, I hope that they enjoy the story. Um, to me, it's more about getting people to read and enjoying my stories um, and just being able to share what's inside my head a little bit. Um, so writing is, is my outlet. Um, well, it was. But anyways, um, today I'm talking about Chains. Um, it's a very simple title. Um, it's about a young girl, 12 years old, who is kidnapped and she is um, she has to deal with the man who kidnapped her and not only did, does he kidnap her he keeps her because he believes he's in love with her um, he's an older man and she's only 12 the story starts out with a prologue where we just meet Evie and Brian who are uh, friends of Ronnie, or um, her real name is Veronica, and they are rushing to meet her, and they're the last ones to see her um, as she's being pushed into a van. Um, Ronnie lives, or lived with her um, Aunt Sadie. Her parents were killed when um, she was younger, um, so she's been um, being raised by her Aunt Sadie, who is a... Um, a school teacher and she becomes a principal um, the man takes Ronnie and we see the prologue starts at day one um, many of the chapters are um, entitled based on the number of days that she's in captivity um, and they range um, after day one it skips forward to Day 1825, um, where we meet Ronnie, really, for the first time, and we meet her captor, who she is forced to call Mr. Um, he has fed her lies. He's kept her locked in a, um, a basement, um, a very dirty and dingy basement. He makes her eat out of a dog bowl. And throughout her her life, she's only um, throughout her captivity, I should say, um, he only allows her to eat specific foods. Um, eventually, he tells her that he can bring her upstairs, um, and she must obey um, him, of course. So, what Ronnie does to try to survive is she keeps um, what I call a mental journal. Um, since she can't write anything down, she keeps it in her mind and she um, writes in this virtual journal, the one in her mind, um, to kind of keep her, her sanity or a little bit of peace of herself. She doesn't want to disappear. Because after a while, she um, is constantly called by her nickname, which is Ronnie, and she even forgets what it's a nickname for. So she forgets that her full name is Veronica. Um, and this man, um, he's a doctor, Dr. Sean Channing. He's Mr. Um, he obviously is a pedophile. Um, and she's not the only girl that he takes, but she's the only girl that he keeps. Um, he tells her that her aunt wanted her to um, stay with him so she would be safe because of how her parents died. Her parents died in a car accident. But he twisted facts and truths around so she doesn't know what to believe. And she finds it is better to obey him and do what he says. Um, but she also learns to keep some secrets to herself. Once she's brought in the main house, he puts a dog collar around her ankle, which um, is another form of chains. 
Um, when she was in the basement, she was chained unless she was taken taken out to make um, sex tapes. Um, sometimes this man shared her with other people. Um, and she, it's her strength and how she gets through a bad situation, even when she honestly believes that she will never be able to leave. And she does. She, um, there's a lot of things that happen to her. She basically has no childhood. She, um, grows up, um, she is almost 21 when, um, she is rescued and it's because of her smart thinking. Um, eventually she convinces, um, her captor that, um, she asks him if all, you know, she does all her work that she's supposed to do for him, you know, house chores and other things, um, if she would be allowed to read. And he said that he didn't care. Um, he's always calling her ugly. Um, and so she just became smart by reading books. And then he allows her to watch educational TV, but only one channel. Um, she finds a way to find out the truth. Um, and kind of lead people to where she has been hiding, especially after he takes another child. Um, the story is about survival and how she managed to survive. Um, it is a, uh, it can be heartbreaking at some times. There um, are some scenes that may seem a little graphic, but not, not too much. I don't really go into a lot of detail, but you just kind of know what's going on. Um, that's not the point of this. Um, and then when she's rescued, she has to still deal with the chains that she feels on her body um, and, you know, kind of break free. And, you know, it takes a lot to deal with. So um, I hope that you all um, or someone will read Chains and um, maybe some more of my stories. I, um, I like sharing my stories. And Chains was a hard story to write, and it's hard, not, not as hard to read. It's, um, it's kind of one of those stories that, you know, you're, you're wondering, how in the world would she, can she survive this? But she does. And if you think about in life, there are things that we think that we could never survive situations, but if they happen to us, we end up surviving. So this is about a very strong-willed little girl who grows up into a fragile woman, but never broken. Um, this has been Amy Shannon, behind the cover, and the book is Chains. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.